Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Valentine's Day is about, is about a week away, and a lot of people around this time of year feel the pressure to couple up. Although one couple in Orange County is definitely feeling it. Okay, because Artie Van and Erica Harris had been messaging each other on Instagram, and they met at the airport for the first time on Friday, where they got married 10 minutes later in baggage <laughs> reclaim. Now, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> and after seeing this story, you can see why Instagram shut itself down. You know, right when Satan's real love, you leap into that like there's no tomorrow, and that's what we're doing. For months, their romance grew through original poetry along with videos. Speaks of love. I love you. <laughs> Artie then bought a one-way plane ticket. Then... <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, I'm Erica. Don't drop me. <laughs> Artie pops the question. Their advice to all those love seekers out there. Don't listen to your thoughts. Don't listen to your head. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. I mean, it, it's, a, it's appropriate that they're meeting at the airport because you know that both of these people have a lot of baggage. <laughs> but, you, you know, you have to say, it is nice that someone found love on Instagram or, as I will report this story next week, someone found their murderer on Instagram. <laughs> And they're like, can we can take a look at the photo of this guy again? Look at that. <laughs> the guy proposed and got married with a Bluetooth in his ear. <laughs> like, I hope the person on the other end of the headset was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm kidding. There has never been another person on the other end of a Bluetooth. <laughs> But anyway, if you'd like to get the couple a wedding gift, they've registered at Hudson News, Burger King, <laughs> and one of those tiny kiosks that only sell bottled water and hummus. <laughs> uh, but these two weren't the only people looking for love online. It turns out an associate of Osama bin Laden's, who is currently being held prisoner in Guantanamo Bay, was recently found to have a Match.com profile. <laughs> True story. Uh, I, guess, I guess we now know the answer to the question, your place or mine. <laughs> but in order to update his profile from prison, he writes letters to his lawyer, right? And this guy writes updates about a wide variety of things. For example, about Caitlyn Jenner, he wrote, I'm happy for her because people are born the way they are, right? Which is, I know, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think I've just found my favourite member of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> I'm not saying I like him. Well, he's, you know, he's my favourite. It's a low bar. It's a low <laughs> bar. It's the best of a bad bunch. Like, do, you think, do you think his opening line with women was, she had me at hello? <laughs> Thank you. One of my own. <laughs> Actually, one of my own. <laughs> but I just hope this former Al-Qaeda member knows how to stay safe online, because after last year's Ashley Madison hack, Dating online couldn't be more complicated, but it turns out there may be a solution. Because Ashley Madison has revealed a brand new fix to counter the breach in security they faced in 2015. To allow people to cheat on their spouses in anonymity, the profile pictures will now feature, wait for it, masks. <laughs> This is what the new security feature that hides your identity on Ashley Madison looks like, and we are not making this up. <laughs> I mean, who is this for? Is someone thinking, I need to cheat on my wife, but discreetly, what would the Hamburglar do? <laughs> like, <laughs> But we here at The Late Late Show, we, we've been wondering if this will work. And let's take a look and see some of the new Ashley Madison users to see if you can get an idea of who they are. So here's the first one. Wow. <laughs> no, oh, OK. <laughs> see? <laughs> Complete anonymity. You've done it again, Ashley Madison. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 